Some of you might be wondering why am I here? Who am I? Or maybe even what am I going to be talking about? I am Michelle, the person who is interested in the world of space, who expresses her passion through her feelings and through her imagination. You know, when I was younger, my definition for space was very simple. It was eight planets, one sun, and one moon. And as I grew older, my knowledge for space extended. What I think of space right now is that it's an interesting world. It's a world full of curiosity. It's full of oddities, full of phenomena. It conducts many facts, but these facts were first based on an individual's opinion. That is, we do not all share the same opinion. Yeah, each one of us in this room has a different opinion. Each one of us has their own point of view. But when people want to prove their opinion, they work on it. And after they possess enough evidence, it's no longer called an opinion, but it turns into a fact. Let's link this to astronomy. Some of the astronomical facts, they were first based on an individual's opinion and later on developed into a fact after the research and the evidence that was found and that was done. Let's take George Lemaitre as an example. George was a Belgium scientist and he was one of the first people that proposed or personally thought that the universe began with something called the Big Blast, the Big Bang. It was his opinion at first. He personally thought this. He wasn't accepted by many and not everyone believed his idea. Later on, he worked with important characters in order to prove his point of view and when he did, he came up with a conclusion that he was correct since the beginning. But when he had evidence between his hands, this was when everyone believed him. This brings us to our next point. Not all astronomers, not all important characters in the world of space were first accepted by society. And one of the most known reasons why is because people used to think that these important characters were trying to brainwash them. Let's take Pythagoras as an example. Pythagoras, he was a Greek philosopher and he was one of the first people that suggested or proposed that the shape of the earth was round. Yeah, we all know that there was this specific period of time or era where people used to debate on whether or not the earth was round. After Pythagoras knew that he wasn't accepted by many, he worked with both scientists and astronomers in order to prove his point of view. Now, let's focus on a main point. Back then, the names of the jobs that were given aren't the same as the names of the jobs that we have today. So back then, scientists and astronomers, they were both known or they were under the category important characters. So Pythagoras worked with important characters in order to prove his point of view. And when he had the evidence between his hands, people were forced to believe him because what he was saying developed into a fact. Now, we all sometimes extend our imagination. Yeah, we think outside of the box. Sometimes our imagination takes us to places we never expected. And we all at some point have thought of big questions. For instance, what if? It's the what if questions that matter when you're talking about space or astronomy related. Let's imagine together. What if two galaxies merge? What if suddenly aliens are discovered to be living underwater? Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make you imagine things that could be possible or could not. These what if questions, they could eventually lead to something after, of course, extensive research. But let's say anyone thinks of these questions, even us, if we think of these questions, it will create curiosity. So if an expert such as an astronomer thinks about those what if questions, it will create interest they would want to explore and study more about those specific types of questions and eventually they could lead to something after evidence and time and proof. If I ask anyone on the spot to name all of the features that are related to space, some people could say dwarf planets, some people could say asteroid belts, uh, people would say galaxies, the universe, stars, moons, suns, going on. People will keep on going on and on. This is space, it's spacious, it's large, it conducts numerous facts, 
Some are true and some are not. Space is a world where you cannot sit and memorize the facts. It's a deep world. It's a complicated world. You are required to understand those facts for you to be able to link them to other information, just like a puzzle. Imagine we only discovered 5% of the universe, meaning that's nothing. Moving forward, I want to talk about an icon who has inspired an entire generation about innovation. Who is Hazza al-Mansouri? What is he known for? And what does he have to do with our topic? We all know that the UAE has always jumped to have the first Emirati to be able to reach space. That was Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan's dream. May his soul rest in peace. 2000, September 2019, the date that attracted the world. This was the date for Hazar's takeoff to the International Space Station. You know when you have that one person that inspires you in an indirect way? Hazar was that person to me. Even though I never met him or I never had a personal conversation with him, the way he was preparing when I saw the mixed emotions he was showing to his people and most importantly the dedication he had, this made me sure and opened my eyes to a realization that this is my interest. Space makes me eager. This is the one thing I want to continue my life doing, exploring space's deepest secrets. For the past few years, the UAE has been planning so many projects related to space. They're even going to the moon. After the UAE became the first Arab country to reach Mars, the UAE Space Agency has announced that it is planning to accomplish two missions. One, to explore planet Venus by the end of this decade, and two, exploring the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Their plan begins by building the spacecraft, which will take about six years, and they are mainly focusing on two things. First of all, studying and focusing more on the evolution of asteroids within our solar system. And second of all, exploring more about the asteroid belts between Mars and Jupiter. Now they are planning to send a probe that will eventually land on one of these asteroids. This asteroid is unknown, but the probe will land on it after it completes a journey seven times further than the Hope probe. Now, I would like to end my speech by thanking the leaders of the UAE who opened my eyes for a better future of creation and innovation. I am hoping that one day with their support and inspiration, I could lead a team of researchers who will prove that there will be and there could be a creation that could enter the black hole and leave being in one piece and without being sucked. Thank you.